Good morning, folks. Today we're taking a look at some serious weather devastation in the Philippines, and there's more coming. We'll see a plasma mystery solved at Uranus, and of course, we're starting with space weather in the last 24 hours on our star. There was minor flaring only. It was a day dominated by the plasma filament activity, big ones released on the south and on the incoming limb. We've got sunspots as well, but their magnetic complexity is on the decline, and we expect a coronal hole stream to arrive in about a day or two. Let's break those down a bit more, starting with the filament eruptions. This one was big, but luckily went off the sun in the southward direction. Another big one released on the north near the incoming limb. This one also not aimed at our planet. With their activity, the main watch today returns to the sunspots. But we're left with basically just this one central active region that could produce flares that would affect Earth, but it's growing less and less likely to do so magnetically. You can see there are still interaction areas, but they have diminished. Strong, polarity-dominated cores beginning to take over the character of the sunspot group. We'll be watching anyway, but we'll also be watching the solar wind. The northern coronal hole has an excellent chance of amplifying the solar wind at Earth tomorrow or Thursday. Could produce geomagnetic storms if the stream is strong enough. We've got eyes on that too. Folks, there were over a hundred dead in the Philippines after two typhoons struck. In a typhoon, just hit the island again yesterday. While damage and injury report updates are coming in, they have a fourth storm on its way. You can see the strongest of the West Pacific systems heading directly for yet another landfall. Hopefully they catch a break there soon. Brutal setup the last couple weeks. Today's main space news comes from Uranus. Voyager 2 noted a distinct lack of plasma in the Uranian magnetic field, but highly enhanced radiation belts. Now, they are suggesting that right before Voyager arrived, a solar storm hit the pale blue planet and swept the plasma away while also energizing those belts, meaning that the craft flew by at the exact time the planet was in a solar storm recovery phase, changing how the planet appeared for only a brief but perfectly timed mystery-making event. But now, mystery solved. Folks, you can find all of our books at the Observer Ranch store. It is now the place to get everything from our shirts and hats to books and other resources. ObserverRanch.com. Time to catch up, folks. And a reminder that our documentary on Earth's disaster cycle comes out next year. We want to again thank our main sponsor of the film, Gold Co. Along with food and water and bullets and seeds and a million other things, I do believe silver and gold is a great way to guard against some of the more brutal stages coming in the years ahead. Gold Co. is an observer company, by the way, and they build a specific site just for our community to get into this often neglected side of prepping. Highly recommend it. Goldobservers.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.